Hello Techies. In the previous video, we have seen how to convert a text to number by using convert text to number action. Now, let's recap about that. If you see on my screen, I'm having a number on the Excel, which is in text format. Now, what I have to do, I have to read that and I want to convert the text to number format. That's how we have done that by using convert text to number. Now, in this video, we will learn how to convert a number to text by using convert number to text action. Now, if you see over here, what we have done by using read from Excel worksheet, we have read the data that is the value of A2 that is 10,000 and then we have converted the text to the number by using convert text to number. Now, what I'm going to do the number I'm going to convert it and then I'm going to write the data into the text format over here at the cell of A3. How can I go ahead and do that by using Power Automate? Let me delete these actions. Now I want to write the data to the Excel, right? That is in the text format into the column of A. Now to write the data, what is the action that we are going to use to the Excel? Write to, to Excel worksheet. Let me drag and drop right to Excel sheet onto the workspace. If you see the parameters over here, value to write. This is the value which we are going to write it after conversion of the number to text. All right. Right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give simple value as some value right now. I'm not going to give the same value for the conversion. And also, we'll see the write mode on the specified cell. I'm going to write on the specified cell in the column A and after that row three. All right, let me click on save. Now we'll see what is the number we want to convert to the text. How can we convert a number to text by using convert number to test action. So let me drag and drop this convert number to test action onto the workspace before write to Excel worksheet. Now, if you see over here, the parameters for the convert number to text, first of all, the number to convert, which number you need to convert. I will give it over here as 10005. All right. Now, if you see the decimal places, now, if I'm having any decimal places after five, that is dot 225. So the decimals will be converted to two and then the number will be converted into the text and then whatever the values it will be written over there in the Excel sheet. All right. Now, if you see use thousand separator, now what will happen after conversion, what will do? It will convert after the thousands like this one zero zero comma zero zero five is the value which it will convert into the text format. That is the reason we are going to use use thousand separator. All right. Once the number has been converted, it will be stored in the formatted number variable that is flow variable. All right, let me click on save. Now, well, I'm going to write to Excel worksheet. What is the text? I will take it formatted number flow variable. I will take it. Let me edit this from here. Value to write. What is the value that I will use? That is the value as formatted number. All right, let me click on save. As a best practice, once the data has been written successfully to the Excel worksheet, we need to close the Excel. Let me drag and drop this close Excel onto the workspace. Now over here, if you see what is the Excel we need to close, the instance which we have already created as part of the launch Excel. And after that, before closing an Excel, I want to save the document or not. We need to save the document. Okay, we are going to select the option, save document, and then let me click on save. As a practice, I will drag and drop display message onto the workspace. And then I will make it the title as flow and then I will display message as flow executed. Let me click on save. Let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started. And you can see over here formatted number on the right hand side. You can see we have used separator use thousand separator over here, right? That's the reason for every thousand we're getting the value as comma separated value. We'll get it over there. All right. Now the flow has been executed successfully. Click on OK. Now let me open the Excel. If you see the output over here, we have written the data in the A3 cell, right? Now you can see the comma separated for thousand separator. 
and after that if you see after dot we have given decimal places as 2 so we have given some value over here that is that is decimal point 0.225 right so after decimal what it has done it has been taking the decimal places as 2 and then it has written the data over here as dot 23 and also if you see over here the number has been converted to text and then it has written the data in the excel by using convert number to test action i hope you understand how to work with convert number to test action as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day